Outside of Charlotte, North Carolina is a basketball training center dedicated to a focus on the finest details. In 2009, Accelerate Basketball Training began with the concept of offering a systematic approach to player development. Today, they work with several Warriors players and efficiency is the key. Well, we use these tools just to kind of, you know, help our players improve their brain and body connection a little bit. and. Uh, it's, it's part of what we do, but it's not, uh, it's not the meat of what we do in the off-season. It's more of an in-season thing. Um, but we, we certainly work with, with Steph, Harrison, uh, Draymond, and Festus on, on all aspects of the game. Yeah, so we've seen Stephen Curry working with you and doing uh, a drill with lights that has been out there on social media a little bit. But what, what is it exactly? Well, this is a, a tool that we use with Steph, and we use it both off-season and during the season. During the season is when we're going to—it's going to be the biggest part of what we do. But what it is is these lights can allow us to train his brain and his decision making by giving him different assignments on the lights, and then grading the accuracy of the decision and the speed of the decision. Um, we can do it stationary, and we can do it on the move and transition. Um, but it's a tool that Stefan really enjoys working with, and has seen a lot of benefits from. In sports, you hear the term hand-eye coordination thrown around quite a bit, but that's only part of the story. Hand-eye coordination is something that's important to players, motor skills, things like that, but we kind of, we kind of have our own term here. We call it neuromuscular efficiency, uh, where we're teaching players to be able to communicate with their body in an efficient manner, in a fast manner, and, and with correct decisions. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have Blake demonstrate some of our stationary drills, and I'll explain how we use the tennis ball to help us improve on the floor. So what Blake's going to start with is just our most basic, which is toss and catch. Now you have to look past what he's doing here. It's not just hand-eye and it's not just ball handling. We have to communicate with our brain two different things at one time. So now we're starting to layer it. So now he's thinking about what he's doing with the tennis ball, but the basketball can't slow down. Now we're going to layer it again. Now it's like running a play. So now he's got to think through all these processes and continue to dribble the ball and not lose sight of the tennis ball. Okay? So we're training the brain and the skill at the same time. Training the great to be greater than the great is their stated mission. But what's perhaps most impressive is how the workouts are scalable. Because of the, the way that we implement things, it can be scaled from anything from a, a five-year-old that's first picking up a basketball to the NBA MVP. Um, it's just we start with the brain first. And I think that a lot of coaches and a lot of trainers in the past have, have kind of neglected that. And, and we're trying to kind of change the paradigm. and and help people understand that the brain is something very important to train when it comes to basketball. In Charlotte, for Warriors TV, I'm Lawrence Scott.